pop on in. Hey, darlings, how are you? <laughs> how are you, darlings? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Come on into the live, guys. Come on into the live. We are going to see how Miss Birdie's bun stands up to another brand's bun. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Come on into the live. Come on into the live. La, 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 la. Let me get some music going. Y'all want to hear some music? Y'all want to hear? No, I, no music. You want to hear some music? How would y'all like to hear? You'd like to hear some music? Okay, we're going to see how Miss Birdie's bun stand up to other buns. <laughs> we're going to see how Miss Birdie's bun stand up to other buns. Yay! Dora. Hey, darlings, how are you? So let me get some music going here. We're going to see how Miss Birdie's bun stand up to other buns. Yay! Okay, Miss Birdie's bun, Miss Birdie's bun. We're going to do a bun review. In general, this is a bun review. Bun review. Okay. What kind of music you want to hear? What kind of music you want to hear? Any music you want to hear? Okay, it doesn't matter. But anyways, guys, welcome to my live. Welcome to my live. Welcome to my live, guys. Good evening. My name is Tina Chin, and I own a bakery, an online bakery, uh, called Tina Chin Pop Up Cake Shop or Tina Tina Chin um, Cakes LLC, and um, I just decided to do a bun review. That's basically. It. I wanted to do a bun review because uh, there has been so much talk about one specific bun. In this case, Miss Birdie's bun. So we're gonna do a bun review in the next few minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, roll on in, share the live, guys. Join in and share the live. We're going to do a Miss Birdie's Bun Review. Yay! Right? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so. We're going to do a Miss Birdie's Bun Review. I'm just trying to find some good music. Right? And the bun we're going to put it up to is this particular bun. We're going to put it up to this bun. All right, we're going to put it up to HTB. See how it stands up to HT, HTB bun? Right, let's see how it stands up to HTB bun. Let's see how it stands up to HTB bun. Now, what I have with me is a bottle of water because I want to clean my mouth after I've eaten one brand before I start the other brand. You know what I mean? I'm hidden over here, but I wanted you guys to see exactly what it is that I'm doing. If you're just joining my live, guys, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my evening live, right? I'm Tina Chin. I am the owner of Tina Chin Cakes, LLC. And Easter is around the corner. And my plan was to bake my own buns. But after I thought about it, I'm like, uh, my can't bother with all of that, baking my own buns, all of the good stuff. I said, you know what? Let me do a bun review because there's so many buns on the market. I just decided to do one. What do you guys think about that? All right, now there are a lot of buns on the market. There is Yummy Bun, National Bun, HTB Bun, plus some other bun brands that we don't know about, right? You guys are free to name any brand bun in the comment section if you want to. But those ones kind of stand out to me more because I'm more familiar with those, okay? So... Uh, as of last year, we heard of this brand, uh, Miss Birdie. I don't know them. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't have a contract with them. I am just a customer like you, okay? I didn't sign any contracts with Miss Birdie, none of that, okay? I'm a customer like you, and I have been just sitting there hearing everybody talk about bun, bun, Miss Birdie, bun, Miss Birdie, bun, Miss Birdie. So I said, you know what? Let me go taste Miss Birdie bun and see what all the fuss is about. So... This evening, while I was on the road, 
I got a call from a dear friend of mine and she said, Tina, I got a box of Miss Birdie's bun. So I said, you do? So you know I had to drop what I was doing and made it down to her house to get a piece of Miss Birdie's bun. Now, if you're familiar with buns, Easter buns, they're of a particular size in most cases. They're either this big or they're, they're, they're even longer, okay? Remember, it's just me alone. I don't need, you know, such a large bun and a, and a large can of cheese. If you're new to my life, if you're new to the Jamaican culture, Easter buns um, are obviously eat, eaten during the Easter time. You know, it's, to, it's tradition to consume sweet buns during the Easter and it's consumed with cheese okay that's the tradition all right if you're new to the tradition the jamaican tradition is to eat a lot of easter buns during easter okay it's kind of like very sweet bread it's it's easier to compare it to that like very sweet sweet bread with cheese but it's sweet okay now miss birdie's easter bun kind of caught my attention last year right but i wasn't too into it like that because last year was a busy year for me because I'm a business owner myself so I'm a baker myself so I had other things that I was doing but the buns have returned this year so we're going to test it out to taste it and see what all the fuss is about and again full disclaimer I was never given a contract I was never signed to anything nobody paid me to do this I'm just a regular customer like you I bake uh, but I'm just a regular customer and I have been eating buns since I was a child. So I'm pretty much familiar with what Easter buns are supposed to taste like. Um, a few things that we're going to be looking at in this particular live is, you know, are like the texture, the, the sweetness of the bun, the crumminess of the bun, the scent of the bun, you know, the aroma of the, AKA the aroma of the bun so on and so forth and how it eats with cheese right now we're gonna put it up against this particular bun the thing is that when my friend called me today i said to myself you know what it wouldn't be fair to the miss birdie brand to do just a review on it alone right i said you know what i need another bun to compare it with right so i went out and i purchased it's an HTB bun. Now, I could have purchased the national bun too, but the national bun was very huge. And, and I said to myself, why am I buying this big national bun and it's just me alone? So I ended up getting a smaller size HTB bun and we're going to compare Miss Birdie's bun with the HTB bun. Okay. You know, Easter's around the corner. Buns are the thing. And so... We're going to do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So again, if you're just joining my live, we're going to see how the Miss Birdie bun stands up to the HTB bun. Okay. HTB has been around for years. Ever since I was a kid, I've been hearing about HTB. I've been seeing the commercials on TV. No, I'm not signed to none of these bus bun companies. I'm just a, a baker. And I am just seeing what all the fuss is about. Okay, I don't bake buns, but I'm just seeing what all the fuss is about. I specialize in rum cakes. That's my specialty. Okay, another great Caribbean uh, cake, rum cake. That's my specialty. I do wedding cakes. I do birthdays, so on and so forth. Plus, my website is at the very bottom of the page. If you want to taste any of my products, you're free to log on to teenagechincakes.com and taste my very tasty baked goods. But I don't bake buns. I, I was going to do buns, but then I changed my mind. I'm like, that's too much work just for one day, you know? Anyways, here we go. <laughs> By the way, you could write your favorite brand bun in the comment section. Okay, write your favorite brand of bun in the comment section. So if you're a yummy fan, you could write your, your yummy brand in the comment section. If you're an HTB bun fan, you could write your HTB brand in the comment section, so on and so forth, okay? You're free to write whichever brand bun that you like in the comment section. Now, since this is, I went out and purchased this on my own. Ooh, oh, oh. I don't know where the Miss Birdie box went, but let me get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, there it is. So... I went out 
and got this on my own. Let me open it. <laughs> okay. Let's open it. <laughs> this is the HTB. All right. This is the HTB bun. Uh, it's 35 ounces in serving size. I did compare the ingredients. I did compare the calorie intake. And it's pretty much the same. Uh, Miss Birdie's bun is 170 calories per serving. And that's, I'm assuming, if you're doing two slices of bun. The traditional way, right? And then the HTB is 210. So the HTB is roughly about 40 more calories than the HTB bun. If you're a calorie uh, counter, that might be important to you. And let me put that disclaimer out there again. No, Miss Burden didn't, didn't sign me to anything. No bun company did. HTB didn't sign me to anything. I'm just doing this off of my own free will. Um, my own free will. Okay? So, there you go. Now, okay, so this is the HTB. I'm going to open the HTB. <laughs> yes, I'm using the same knife to open the HTB. Okay, right away, I know it's bun. I'm smelling it, it's bun. Right? Well, another day, we could do another brand, right? We'll do another brand another day. But for now, I'm doing the uh, Miss Birdie brand, and I'm putting it up against one of our favorites or one of our more traditional buns that we are familiar with. How about that? One of our more traditional buns that we're familiar with, okay? Which is the HTB. So... I am now opening the HTB. <laughs> HTB. Okay. It has raisins. These little black things are raisins. Okay. And the color is like brown. It's a brown color. Right. My table is clean. So. I'm gonna start cutting. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you can you guys can see the whole cut effect. Okay. I have to tell the people what I'm doing. Ugh, wait, you want me to cut the bun like you're getting a piece? You're not getting a piece of my bun. Be patient. Let me cut my bun. Okay, let me cut my bun. Well, I'm gonna end the live. Okay, don't rush me to cut my bun. <laughs> Okay, all right, you know, it's been a while since I've had HTB bun, by the way, it's been a while, okay? I'm going to cut a slice about half an inch. Each slice will be roughly about a half an inch, right? Okay, neatly cut, right? All right, this is my HTB bun. I just bought it from a supermarket. This is it right here, okay? I'm going to put the slices right there. Now, my Miss Birdie bun. See it? See that? That's the HTB, okay? It doesn't have any, all I see in there are raisins, okay? Now, if you're familiar with how buns are baked there's some people who love cherries in their buns some people love cherries and raisins some people don't like the raisins i mean everybody has their own preference whatever but that's the htv tb now this is miss birdie's bun now before you guys come at me okay i had to take a piece off of what me and my friend got okay so this is miss birdie's bun i can attest to it i wouldn't put my brand on the line like that by misrepresenting anything, okay? So I want you to trust me that this is a, a piece of Miss Birdie's bun, okay? I wouldn't I wouldn't put my brand on the line like that, but this is a Miss Birdie's bun. I just got it roughly about two hours ago, okay? Just to give you a time stamp. That was a piece of cheese. This is Miss Birdie's bun. Okay, 
So, HTB, Miss Birdie. I just wanted you to see the difference in colors, right? So HTB is here, Miss Birdie's bun is here. Okay, HTB, Miss Birdie. Okay, Miss Birdie. Okay, so this is Miss Birdie's bun. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna slice it now. The same half an inch, right? Okay. Miss Birdie and HTB. Let me get my piece of cheese. Call my friend, give me cheese. Now, this was so spontaneous, guys. Let me tell you, this was not planned, okay? It was just so, it, it was, it just so happened that me and her were just like there and the bun just came about. It, this is totally unplanned. Okay. So, me have a bigger piece of cheese. I don't know how you love your cheese, but I don't like my thick, I don't like thick cheese. I like my cheese thinly sliced, you know. How do you like your cheese? Okay. So, this is Miss Birdie's bun and cheese. I'm going to show it to you when I'm done. Give me a second. Let me just cut up my piece of teeth and cheese. My bag and cheese on my bag. All right. <laughs> my bag of cheese because it was so spontaneous, guys. This was not planned, okay? So don't come at me because my, my cheese kind of been up, been up. Don't come at me. All right. So let me show you what they look like plated. Okay, let me show them to you. Plated. Yeah, different fruit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is Miss Birdie's bun right here. And this is HTB. So you're looking at Miss Birdie here, right? This is Miss Birdie here. This is Miss Birdie. And then this is HTB. Okay, so this is Miss Birdie that you're looking at. Take a picture, guys. Come on, take a picture before I bite in. Let me screenshot this. Okay, and then this is the HTB. Okay. I want I want the brand name to be in it. Okay. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? HTB or Miss Birdie? Just from looks alone. Just from looks alone, what do you think? Miss Birdie or HTB? What do you think? Don't forget we're looking at color and, you know, we're looking at color and we're looking at the fruit because Miss Birdie's bun has cherries and raisins, okay? And the HTB bun only has raisins, okay? Now, I don't know. It says here the expiration on this is June 16, 2023. This is the HTB bun. The expiration on this one says, on the, on the Miss Birdie says June 17th. Okay, this is the Miss Birdie's bun. The expiration is June 17th. I just want to be fair to both brands. Okay, so I'm showing you everything on both brands. Okay. All right, so this is what they look like. What do you think? So they have the look. So a lot of people are saying Miss Birdie's bun looks better than the HTB bun. Okay, so Miss Birdie's leading on looks. Okay, all right. Miss Birdie's lead. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, all right. Now, Miss Birdie's looks moist. Okay. Now, I did have... The reason why my piece of Miss Birdie is so small is because I did eat two big chumps out of it, okay? I did eat two big slices out of it, <laughs> and I have a heartburn now because I ate so much of the bun. Because it's very sweet, okay? Because sweet things give me heartburns. Uh, you know, this is not just saying that Miss Birdie's bun gives heartburns, but in general, sweet things gives me heartburns, right? So, this is Miss Birdie's bun, 
Okay, this is this is Miss Birdie's bun. Okay. Uh, you know what I like about Miss Birdie's bun? Miss Birdie's bun has like moistness to it. It's just very um, it's very like you know you could take a piece and crump it up in your hand a bit. Let me cut another slice of it. Give me a second. That's what I like. One thing I can tell you about this, what I found, what I discovered is that Miss Birdie's bun is, is kind of soft. I don't know. See, you know how sometimes if you can't do this to the bun, you know. Did you guys used to, <laughs> used to do this as kids? I did this as a kid growing up, you know. I did this as a kid where I just like... <laughs> It kind of it's it's a way to kind of test the moistness of the cake or the bun in this case you kind of crumple it up in a bowl and see how um you know so this is miss birdie's bun can i do the same with the htb i don't know let's see okay you can do the same which let me tell you what I've noticed about the HTB. It's a little bit more firmer. It's a little bit firmer. You know, it has a little bit more firmness in it in comparison to that of Miss Birdie's bun. It's a little bit firmer. You know, it's 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 a little bit more crummier. Um, a lot of things, you know, could be affecting the texture of each bun. It could be storage, transport time. All of these other stuff has to be kept in mind. But I'm a sh I, I am assuming that each um, manufacturer, each, each producer of these buns, they package their buns to to um, to last for a certain amount of time, to lock in the moisture, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So this is HTB, right? So we're going to try it out now. Yeah. The te yeah, there are a lot of people who don't like that raw dough texture. I mean, it's moist, but it, it, it might have like, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, Stacy. I see what you're saying. That that doughy feeling, you know, it's too doughy. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So which one of these buns you'd like for me to try first? Which one? Would you like for me to try the HTB first? Or you'd like for me to try the Miss Birdie bun first? Which one? Which one? Um, which, which one, which one? <laughs> which one? Okay, so you want me to try Miss Birdie first? Okay, I'm going to try Miss Birdie first. Let me drink some water. <laughs> let, me, let me drink some water. All right, I'm going to try Miss Miss Birdie first. This is Miss Birdie. Okay, Miss Birdie has fruits and she has raisins and it's kind of soft. Yeah. I have to smell it because the smell is important too, you know. The smell of the bun makes 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 a difference. Cuz when you're eating bun, you want to know that you're eating buns, right? All right. Okay. All right. I. All right. Let me eat it now. I have a piece of cheese in it. Let me go. It's soft. It has like a little doughy texture, like you said earlier. Like, you know, it's soft. Maybe, I don't know. It's just very soft. Personally, I don't like large fruits. That's just me. If you're a fruit, if you're a fruit lover, then that's fine. But me personally, I don't like large fruits in anything that I eat. And um, Miss Birdie's bun has large fruits, large pieces of fruits in it. You can actually see it, as you can see in the, 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 the pictures that I showed you, right? Mm. 
it's soft. It's soft. Okay? It's soft. That's what I'll say. It's it's very soft. Okay. Let me drink some water. <laughs> some people like their buns very soft. And like I said, I'm going to see how it stands up with um, other brands too. Not just the HTV. You know what I mean? I'm going to see how it stands up with National Bun, Yummy Bun, so on and so forth. Because, you know, it's very difficult when a new brand comes on the, on, 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 you know, on the shelves. You know, it's very hard for them to kind of, you know. Okay, this is the, this is the uh, HTB Bun. Oh, my cheese fell. Who wanted my cheese? It fell out. Who wanted it? Okay, so this is the HTB. That's that's where you're wrong, Pauline. Pauline said, I'm not going to give an honest review because 9 to 9 is brand ambassador. Um, I am a businesswoman, Pauline. And if you know about me as a business, if you hadn't, if you know about me as a business person, you wouldn't have said that. You wouldn't have said that. If you knew about, if you knew who I was as a business person, you wouldn't have said that. And I'm, I took, I, I'm taking offense to that. All right. I have a brand to protect. Okay, I'm wearing my brand t-shirt. Why would I do that? Like, y'all, you see, that's the problem. A lot of y'all have your emotions tied up in stuff, so you couldn't give it an honest review like I did. I can give an honest review because I'm a businesswoman. Most of you can't give an honest review like yourself, Pauline, because you have your emotions tied up in stuff. You see what you just said a while ago? You see what you just said? It's not her brand. It's not her brand. She doesn't own the company. You have to look beyond those things, honey. It's not her brand, okay? Anyways, let's continue. All right? Let's continue. We are going to do the HTB. All right? HTB. Cool? take another bite okay all right all right Now, this is what I think. This is how, now, like I said, this is just my review, full disclaimer, it's my review. I'm in no way, shape, or form tied into any um, contracts with either brand, okay? This is just me as a customer, consumer, just buying it on my own and just testing it. I do own a bakery myself. I don't own buns. I don't bake buns, but I do bake rum cakes, some really tasty rum cakes. I have a website, teenagingcakes.com. You can log on to my website and purchase any of my delicious goods. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, this is how I think Miss Birdie Bun stands up to HTB. Now, in the future, as the days progress, I am going to put up Miss Birdie's bun against like other brands okay i'm not just gonna just do htb i'm gonna try national bun i'm gonna try yummy buns and so on and so forth okay so don't just take this one thing and run with it there are other brands that i gotta put it up against i gotta put miss birdie up against okay don't just think it's just htb i'm gonna do other brands okay um so whoo Okay. There are a lot of people who love the yummy buns. Yeah, there are a lot of people who love yummy. As a matter of fact, my friend said, my friend who bought me this, 
she said she preferred the yummy over Miss Miss um Miss Birdie. Yeah, my friend says she prefers the yummy over Miss Birdie. I have never had the yummy before, but my friend said she preferred yummy over Miss Birdie. Okay, now, like I said, I'm gonna try other brands in the future up against Miss Birdie, but as it stands right now, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Come on, guys, I need a drum roll. TinaChinCakes.com. Log on to the website and support me, guys. Support my business. I bake, but I don't bake buns. Okay? <laughs> I need a drum roll. Come on, guys. Give me some hearts. Give me some reactions here. Come on. TinaChinCakes.com. La, 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 la. I'm going to save the other piece of Miss Birdie's bun to see how it stands up to other brands. Okay? Drum roll. <laughs> TinaChinCakes.com. Come on, guys. Give me some hearts. <laughs> All right. Whew. This live is going to be a quick one. It's going to be a quick live. It's going to be a quick live. Okay. Oh, okay. It, oh, I didn't I didn't know about his brand before. I didn't know about the brand before. Thanks for giving me that history. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> Tinachincakes.com. All right. Whew. Let's look again at the buns. Look again at the buns. Look again at the buns. Miss Birdie and HTB. Okay? TinaChinCakes.com. I make some delicious puddings and some delicious rum cakes. Job roll. My friend, my friend preferred yummy over, over Miss Birdie. Okay. However, let me tell you my point of view. Which buns do you think I prefer? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you an honest review. I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to give an honest review. As far as texture is concerned, right now, as it stands up against HTB, as far as texture is concerned, as far as Miss Birdie up against HTB, texture I would go with Miss Birdie's bun why because Miss Birdie's bun it's not scattering all over the place um the crumminess of it is not overwhelming everything is pretty much intact it's soft um a lot of you don't like the doughy texture but I personally, I like a soft bun. Uh, the problem with the HTB is that it was a little bit, too, it was a little bit too dry. I didn't like, you know, as I was cutting it, you know, it was, it was just dry. Like it's been on refrigeration for a long time. You know, like when you refrigerate something for an extended amount of time and you forgot to wrap it up to lock in the moisture. That's the texture I got from the HTB. I didn't really like the texture of the HTB. And maybe, like I said, you know, it could have had something to do with transport, storage. I don't know. I just did not like the texture of the HTB bun. It was too hard for me. And as I was eating it, it was a little bit dry. Okay. However, with the Miss Birdie's bun, okay. Uh, Miss Birdie's bun, it was soft and it stuck to my gums, you know. And if you've been eating bun and cheese for a while, you know that bun and cheese is supposed to stick to your gums a bit. Am I wrong? Right, bun and cheese usually sticks to your gum, doesn't it? Hmm, we have to be like, you have to be digging it from your gums. 
don't you have to be digging digging buns like regularly you, you normally dig dig it from your gums no right miss birdie's bun is very soft very um clammy but if i had to choose either of the two as far as texture is concerned right now between htb and miss birdie i'll go with miss birdie the better one because the htb that i'm trying now it's very dry and like i said you know, going forward in the future, I am going to put Miss Birdie's bun up against another brand. But texture-wise, I did not like the HTB. It was very dry. Okay? But as far as the Miss Birdie texture is concerned, I preferred it right now in comparison to that of the HTB. You know, and, and you know one of the worst things is when something is dry and you're trying to eat it, it's it's gonna it's gonna your mouth is gonna be dry, everything's gonna be dry. So in this session on texture, I'll have to give it up to Miss Birdie. Okay? Texture wise in this section in this session, I'll have to give it up to Miss Birdie. Um Yeah, yeah, I have to give it up to Miss Birdie. Um, the only thing me personally, I did not like about the Miss Birdie bun, it has an excessive sweetness to it. And the heartburn was a little bit too much. Uh, and the fruits threw me off. The fruits threw me off because I am not the type of person who likes large fruits in my anything. I, I, I want nothing large in anything that I'm eating. And that's the only thing right now that that and the, the extra sweetness were the only negatives for me but as far as eating it against the htb i prefer this the taste is, is it's okay it's safe it's safe um no i wished i would have smelt a little bit more aroma from it you know like oh a bun Cause you know sometimes when you're eating buns you can you can actually smell the aroma that you're eating bun you didn't get that from either buns okay you didn't get the aroma of spice you know this is these are spiced buns where where's the spice you know i'm not smelling any spice from either of the two i'm not smelling any spice from htb and i'm not smelling any spice from miss birdie's bun Maybe it's just how they're making the buns now. I don't know, but I didn't smell no spice, not even a whiff, which is why I was smelling it because I was smelling it because I wanted to smell that spice. Where's the spice? Where's the spice? I, I didn't smell the spice from either brands, you know. Um, it has a decent, okay flavor. Yeah, it's eatable. Yeah, it's eatable. Value for your money. It's eatable, considering that you only eat it once a year, this particular product, you know, you know, I'm talking about Easter time, this particular product. Yeah, it, it can pass. It can work. But I wouldn't like me, somebody of my age that's really sensitive to sugar, don't have too many slices because, you know, buns carry a lot of sugar. And right after eating two slices of Miss Birdie's bun, I felt extremely drows drowsy. And I had a little bit of heartburn. No, that could be me. It might not happen to anybody else, but I, it could be me. You know, I called my friend and asked her if she got heartburn from the buns. And she said, yes, yeah, she got heartburn from Miss Birdie's bun. So maybe that's something they can look at. You know, maybe, I don't know, cut down on the sugar. I don't know. Maybe the sugar, I don't know. But it was very like, ugh, the sugar is, the sweetness is turned up and out of bone. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's honest. Like... What, what reason would I have to lie? Like, it, 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 it just doesn't have the spice that I was looking for, you know? Um, I don't smell the spice, you know? Growing up, whenever you're eating bun, especially Easter bun, you would smell that you're eat, eating Easter bun, okay? Um, we got this off of Boston Road. There's a fruits and vegetables store on Boston Road. This is where it was purchased. Um... You know, they're all over in the Bronx, I guess. I don't know. But I, I I didn't see that my fruits and vegetables that I go to. Right? But none of them had spice. I didn't smell bun. Like bun. Like I'm eating bun. And um, like I said, I right now in the sitting, 
I prefer the, the Miss Birdie bun in comparison to that of HTB. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no one. No. This is this this is this is in comparison to the HTB, I'll give it to Miss Birdie. That's my honest review. That's because it's it's sweeter than the HTB. It's softer than the HTB. It's fruitier than the HTB. Um and it has a little bit more clam than the HTB. Usually when you're eating Easter buns, you want to you want it to stick in your teeth and all over the place. You know, that's what Easter bun and cheese does, you know. It sticks in your gums, your teeth, uh, you know, all over. So you have to be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a big bun eater, man. When you come on to Easter time, if you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that I love buns. Trust me. Only one knows I love buns. I have pictures of me just posting, just running out to buy buns. All right. So in this sitting, like I said, between Miss Birdie and the HTB. This one is the winner, okay? That's my review for tonight, guys. What do you think? That's my review for tonight. I like it, yeah. And like I said, I'm going to put it up against Yummy and see how it measures up against Yummy Bun. I'm going to see if I can put it up to see how it measures up against National Bun. Any other brand that is out there right now for the Easter, I'm going to put it up and see how it measures up with... Um, no, I have to, I'm going to have to drink some warm milk to get the heartburn away. Right, Stephanie? Stephanie... Stephanie gave me a piece of her bun, guys. Big up yourself, Stephanie. Stephanie called me. Stephanie's like, guess what, Tina? I have Miss Birdie's bun. <laughs> I couldn't make it down there fast enough. Stephanie said, I have Miss Birdie bun. But Stephanie prefers yummy bun. You know, Stephanie is a yummy bun lover. You know, so big up yourself, Stephanie. Thanks for calling me. Yo, I made it down to the Bronx so quickly to get miss birdie's bun because i keep hearing everybody talking about the miss birdie bun so i was like you know what i want to taste it i want to see what all the noise is about you know and i said you know what let me i was going to do a review just by itself and i said nah that wouldn't be fair let me get another brand to, to put it up against you know to make it even to even it a little bit you know so i went ahead and got an htb but as it as it as it stands right now miss birdie is the winner in this particular review and like i said i'm not getting paid for this I'm not getting paid for this. No, I'm not. And um, that's it. Now, tinachincakes.com. There it is. Log on to my website. Support my business. I'm a baker too, like I said. Rum cakes are my specialty. I do a lot of rum cakes. That's my specialty. And um, log on to my website. I do puddings and all of these other good stuff. Yeah, the website is right below. Click on it. Go moosey around. I do some great solid fruit cakes. I'm a baker. I just don't bake buns. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's very sweet. That's what I know for a fact. It's extremely sweet. Um, and I can tell it's sweet depending on the effects it has on my body, you know, because I'm not a sweet eater. Now, you might be able to deal with it because buns are generally sweet. You know, buns have a lot of sugar in it typically have a lot of sugar not just miss birdie's bun but every bun has a lot of sugar um because that's just the recipe okay um <laughs> as far as this total sugar is 15 grams miss birdie's bun has 15 grams of sugar okay and htb bun has htb bun has 18 grams of sugar mighty god so buns are known to have a lot of sugar it's just a recipe so if you're sensitive to sugar <laughs> eat buns in moderation okay <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna end the live i'm gonna i'm gonna return after I, I'm done with this live, let me just clean up and then I'll return and we'll just sit and chat. I don't I didn't want to continue the live, um, you know, <laughs> with this review. I wanted to do the review, end the live, and then return. So thumbs up to Birdie's Buns in comparison to that of HTB, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. TinaChinCakes.com. Bye! No, 
No, the link is there. The link is there. The link is there, dear. It's at the bottom of this. You can't see it, but it's supposed to be there. What do you mean? Yeah, it's supposed to be there. No, my, my link isn't there. How oh, my link wasn't there? TinaChinCakes.com. My link is supposed to be there. It's supposed to appear. Did it appear? I forgot to hit show. <laughs> I'm going to end the live and then I'm going to return and then we can sit on and chat and talk and laugh. I just didn't want to continue the live with this review. And of course, I'm going to put the live on my YouTube at The Real Tina Chin. If you're not following my YouTube, you need to go and subscribe because I'm going to do more reviews. Look again. Look if the link isn't there. It's supposed to be there. TinaChinCakes.com. Yeah, yeah. TinaChinCakes.com. The link is supposed to be there. I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. If you're not following my YouTube channel, you need to do so now. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to put up Miss Birdie Bun against Yummy Buns and other companies' buns, okay? I'm not just doing HTB. So all of you HTB lovers, don't be hurt. Don't, I hope your feelings isn't hurt, okay? I hope your feelings isn't hurt. All right, we're going to do Yummy Buns too, okay? And National Buns. Yes, we're going to do the review on all these buns. Okay? So don't get your feelings hurt. All right? <laughs> TinaChinCakes.com. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll come back one when I'm done with this. All right, bye. Mm.